Welcome to The Branded Show. This is Mark Thompson, your host. I am so glad to be with you today. And wherever you are, I hope your heart is open and encouraged and excited to hear the Word of God. And today we're going to talk about belonging to God and hearing God's voice. So I want to pray real quick before we start this show today. Father God, I thank you for who you are. I thank you that you love every person listening to this word today. I pray that their heart is encouraged, built up, and strengthened in God. And Holy Spirit, that you would bring truth and revelation to hearts and minds today through your wonderful word. And I ask it today in Jesus' name. God has a design. The creator's design is that you would know him and that you would hear his voice. He wants you to hear his voice and to hear it clearly. See, we were created to belong to God. You were created to belong to God. You were created to be in Christ. And the the scriptures are full of in Christ. Christ. Be in Christ. You were created for that. You were created to be born into the kingdom of light. You were created. We were created to be born again. And that's what Jesus said. You must be born again. What is he talking about? Go to my shows on the three-part being. We, in 1 Thessalonians 5.23, it explains that we are spirit, soul, and body. That we are have a spirit who has a soul who lives in a body. See, your spirit is what hears God. That's who God talks to is through your spirit. And that your spirit must be born again. If you're listening to this show today and you have not received Jesus to be born again, I'm going to give you that opportunity today because you must know God and you must hear God. It's the ultimate thing in life is to hear the voice of God. We were created to hear God's voice You were created. You were created for that. We were created to be filled with truth and filled with Christ. We were created to be filled with the Spirit and filled with the Word of God. Now, Jesus has a lot of I am's in the Gospels, and I'm going to read several of these today. But first of all, I want you to contemplate one thing today through this show. There are a lot of voices in the world today. Everybody's speaking something. There are so many voices in the world today contradicting this and contradicting that. Our nation is divided because of so many voices saying one thing and another one saying another. And it's bringing division. It's bringing separation. It's a house divided cannot stand. That's what the word says. Jesus brings unity. Jesus brings wholeness. But you know, there are a lot of voices out there speaking. My question to you today is, who are you listening to? Is the voice you're listening to bringing life to you? Producing life in you? Because Jesus only gives life. Jesus only produces life. So whatever you're involved in, if it's not producing life, it's not Jesus. It's not God. Because Jesus is the author of of life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you are wondering which way to go, follow Jesus. If you're wondering what truth is, listen to Jesus. If you're wondering what is life, follow Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and life. But Jesus said, these are all the things that Jesus proclaimed that he is and who he is. I am the light of the world. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the bread of life. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the true vine. And see, folks, from the very beginning, God is a speaking God. He's not a silent God. I've never seen a Buddha statue speak, (laughs) and you never will. 
God is a speaking God. He spoke everything into existence. The galaxies show the beauty of God, the wonder of God. God spoke it into existence. God spoke and it was. God spoke and it came to be. See, God spoke in the beginning and it, and listen, he hasn't stopped speaking. <laughs> God speaks to me every day. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I seek the Lord and he speaks to me every day. If I'm in the word, God's talking to me. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I can hear his voice. I've come to learn to know his voice. All creation reveals that there is a God. The universe declares the glory of God. Yes, the galaxies speak of God's glory, wonder, and greatness. God is a speaking God. He speaks in nature. You can't be in the beauty of all creation and not know and sense that there is a God. But Jesus came so that we might know God and be brought back to the Father. And in John 8... Verses 42 through 47. I'm going to capitalize on verse 47, but I'm going to open up my Bible here and I'm just going to read what Jesus said because it is so important that we hear, know, and understand the truth of who Jesus is and what the Word says and what Jesus actually proclaims. And in this chapter, John chapter 8, verse 42 through 47, Jesus is very clear on how we hear God. He makes it very clear how we can hear God. So listen up. I'm going to read this word. Jesus said, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and now am here. I have not come on my own, but he sent me. Who sent him? The father sent him. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, listen, he speaks his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Uh, exclamation point right there. Red letter. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? See, they were lying about Jesus. All of these religious leaders, all the, they were calling him a devil. They were lying about the very truth that this was the Son of God. And so Jesus is just revealing the truth right here. And he's talking about languages, and he's talking about a voice. Did you catch that? And he goes on. I'll start at 45 again. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Here it is, folks. Verse 47. He who belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Oh, is that a phenomenal truth? Listen to that one more time. He who belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. So hearing God has everything to do about belonging to God. And if you're a believer, you belong to God. It should be normal for you to hear his voice. And in 1 Thessalonians 5.23, I wanted to bring back this truth. Because God seals the deal here. That we are a three-part being. You, When you're born into the earth, you are a three-part being. Here it is, the word of God. May God himself, the God of peace, 
sanctify you through and through. May your whole, listen, spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. That's, that's a prophetic word of God for the end times. But he is saying, get your whole spirit, soul, and body and keep it blameless. Well, how do you keep your spirit, soul, and body blameless? By hearing the truth, because the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said. Only truth sets us free. What do you need to be free of today? You're a spirit being who possesses a soul and lives in a body. It's the spirit of man that receives eternal life. When a man is born again, eternal life is imparted to his spirit by the Holy Spirit into, listen, the inward man. Some call it the hidden man of the heart. Your spirit is what hear you you hear God through your spirit. Now God will speak to your mind through his word. But I'm going to lay out some things today that can be a great encouragement for you. If you are a believer, if you know that you belong to God and you haven't been hearing the voice of God, then get back with him. Spend some in intimate time with him. Get in the word, pray, let God speak to you because he is speaking to you. He wants to speak to you. He wants you to hear his voice. Here's how we hear God's voice. Have a soft heart. It's really difficult to hear God speak when your heart is hard. It's hard. Your spirit is closed. That's what he means. When, you're, when your heart is soft, it means that your spirit is soft. A humble heart. If you have a humble heart, you're going to hear God. He says it over and over and over. If you have a humble heart, you're going to receive God speaking truth to you, even if it challenges you. And maybe today there'll be a couple things that may challenge you in this, in this show you know what? Sometimes we need to be challenged with truth. Are we really living in truth? Is my life really being led by God or am I leading my life? Sometimes we need to ask that question. So you need a humble heart. You need a soft heart. You need an open heart. Sometimes it's just good to get alone with the Lord and just say, God, my heart is open to you. Here I am. Here I am for you. I'm here for you, not me. Speak to me. Fill me. Lead me. See, that's an open heart. A seeking heart. Seek, ask, knock. Have you been knocking on the heart of God to hear him? See, God, oh, Father, I need to hear a word. I need to hear a rhema word. Maybe you've got a situation in your life that you're out of options. You don't know what to do. Guess what? Get alone with the Father. Get alone with Jesus. And the Holy Spirit will speak to you. God speaks to a regenerated heart. What am I saying? A born again heart. That's all that means. A heart that is born of God will hear the word of God and do the will of God. A spirit-filled person receive God's spirit-filled word. See, if you have not come to Christ, been saved, been filled, this is for those that have not come to Christ to know his life and his salvation, you, then you won't understand his word because it's spiritually discerned. You have to know God. You have to belong to God for God to speak to you. But you know what? He will speak to you by his spirit to draw you to Christ. Maybe he's using this show today to do that. But if you're a believer, you're a child of God. You belong to God. You're in his family. You have been transferred into the kingdom of light. Just think about that for a second. Is that a blessing or what? You are living in the kingdom of light, not in the kingdom of darkness anymore. 
There are a lot of voices screaming today. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of voices screaming. Sometimes you just need to shut the world off. You know that? So that you can actually hear the voice of God. Maybe you need to turn your phone off. Oop, that hurt. Maybe you just need to turn every voice off so that you can hear that still small voice. And God will speak. I'm going to speak to somebody right now. Mm, boy, I just feel the Holy Spirit right now. Jeremy and have God. Jeremy and I have been talking today before we started the show. God's been here. He's been speaking to us. You are a Christian and you have slacked off and you have fallen away. And you haven't heard God's voice for a long time. Here's the good news. All you have to do is repent <laughs> and come back. Just come running back to him. And you know what? You're going to feel that love. You're going to feel that grace. You're going to feel the Father's love and the love of Jesus surround you, hug you, love you, kiss you. And then you're going to hear God's voice. He's going to say, I love you. You're mine. You're my child. And I love you. God will speak to you. So if you've fallen away, just come back. Just come back. Turn away from the world and come on back. See, the voices of division and the voices screaming today, it's so divisive. It's undermining. It's, I mean, it's, it's, let me just say it. It's chaotic. God is never a divider and God is never chaotic. He is a God of peace. <laughs> Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So if you don't have any peace in your life, you need to get back and say, Jesus, I kind of have fallen away here. I need to be hanging out with the Prince of Peace so I can walk in peace and no peace. See, you should be hearing God and it should, be, it should bring peace to you. There's somebody, you're, mm, you are seeking God about a property. Specific. Somebody's listening to this show right now. You're a Christian and you're trying to make a decision, a big decision on a property of some kind. Hear the word of the Lord today. Listen to his voice. Get in the word and he will give you your confirmation. See, folks, we try to find our own way. There's a, the word says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. No fruitfulness, nothing. If you're that person and you heard this word of discernment and you hear that word of God, at the end of this show, I'm going to give you my contact information. I want you to let me know. Write me and let me know what God did. See, God is always speaking because he's a speaking God. And we need to be in the word of God so we hear the voice of God. See, God will always speak from his word and he will always give a confirmation of that word. So there's a couple scriptures that I want to read today. I love the turning of the pages of the word of God. And this Oh, this is a great passage of scripture. It's out of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and I'm going to start in verse 14. I love this. I love this verse. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Did you hear that word of life right there? Christ's love compels us. We've got to pursue him. We've got to seek him. And when you do, guess what? You stop living for yourself and you start living for him. 
So start living for him. I'm going to just blow through this other scripture. I've got to read it for you before I've got a song for you today to encourage you to be living in the fullness of Christ that is yours in him and that this song will soften your heart, encourage your heart, and bless your heart. Listen to this, Colossians chapter 3. <laughs> I love this scripture. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will reappear with him in glory. Mm, is that good news? Listen. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. But now you must rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices and put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge, in the image of its creator. So I encourage you, live in your true image. Live listening for the voice of God and you will hear God. Seek God. Read the word Pray, and you will hear the voice of God because your life is now hidden with Christ in God. I hope you enjoy this new song, and I hope you love this new song. Listen to it over and over, and let it refresh your heart. Come to you, a humble heart, Savior, Holy Son of God, wash me in your love. I come to you in need of grace, bow my heart and seek your face, wash me in your love. Over and over You draw me back again Over and over You wash away my sin
Jesus, my first If you have not received Christ as your Savior, your personal Savior, I want to lead you in that prayer. Admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus came, died, and rose again for your sin, and accept him as your Lord and Savior. Pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner, and I need a Savior. I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe that you were crucified and that you rose from the dead. I accept you now as my Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Spirit and wash me from all my sin in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, you're a believer in Christ. Thanks for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this whole program today and that you were filled with the love of Christ. I want to give you my contact information. You can go to www.markthompson.live. You can hear all my shows on my website, get words of encouragement. We've got some new stuff coming in the spring. I'm so excited about that. And you can find me on Facebook at Branded Believer. And there'll be a lot of information there for you. If you want to write me, you can write me at Kingdom Song, P.O. Box 407, Fayette, Missouri, 65248. And if you want to drop me an email, it's kingdomsongus at yahoo.com. God bless you. Thank you for listening to The Brandis Show. Love Jesus and keep your eyes on Christ. <laughs>